I can identify a child who has been locked in a closet for a week or who has been um, sodomized by her father or has hid her younger sister in the closet and given her a can of food so that she wouldn't hear herself um, being endured sexual abuse or left on a corner in a stroller at age one. Um, I mean, that's just a sample of some of the things that we deal with. And we have words to understand how terrifying that is, horrendous for them. We can say, oh my gosh, how did that happen? How did anybody let that happen? But to the child, that's their life. And it's just terror and unknown, and they have no context to put that in and no understanding of why that's wrong and why what they're feeling hurts. They can't even say pain. <laughs> you know, it's just about fear and discomfort. So for us to be able to do anything with the child, they have to know that we feel what they're feeling. You know, they have to feel felt. It's the small little moments where they have a connection with someone that they really feel heard or seen or felt. That's the sort of stuff that starts to build the new experiences and possibilities and a window for a new um, vision of themselves in the brain. They need to have that. They need to have that just somebody sees me and thinks I'm amazing experience that happens day to day. As a mother, happens all the time with my kids. Um, and these kids haven't had a lot of people just to look at them, talk to them and recognize they exist and they matter and um, those little tiny things happen lots with the staff here and with the therapists and with the teachers and the volunteers and uh, and that that is a powerful mix that we're adding to the soil that's already there that will help it be more fertile and will help it change. Alexander Youth Network is changing lives and it has changed mine.